Hi there. We are going to look at diazonium salts and how to use it. It's a versatile reagent in in uh, using benzene and making other reactions from it. So diaza means two nitrogens and it's a plus with the two nitrogens attached to a benzene and the Cl minus is just a spectator ion there. So now what's the beauty of this this uh, this um, ion is you can remove an N2 gas and then you can make uh, different types of things. Let's see what it is, right? The first thing, let's let's make diazonium chloride. So you can start with aniline, benzene, NH2 attached, and you need to react with HNO2. Now HNO2 is not available in a bottle. So what do you do? Sodium is sodium nitride and HCl. That'll give you HNO2, right? Now how do you make aniline? You make nitrobenzene and then tin HCl would give you reduction with in the presence of sodium hydroxide. It'll give you aniline, benzene attached and NH2, right? Now there are other ways to reduce two, but that's one method, right? So now we can also think about how to make nitrobenzene. So the nitrobenzene, you perhaps you know, that's one of the, uh, the first reactions we learned, that is, you can react benzene with a nitration mixture, you get uh, nitrobenzene. Okay, now let's look at a couple of important reactions with diazonium chloride. So you can react with copper cyanide in the presence of KCN, and you can attach a CN, nitri CN group, nitrile group. So what's the beauty? You kicked out a nitrogen gas, that's the driving force, and you're going to get C. Uh, triple bond N. So you can make it a carboxylic acid out of it. So what's the other reaction? You can also react with copper chloride and in the presence of acid you're going to get a chlorine, um, chlorine atom attached to that. So you can get copper bromide in if you want to bromine, right? So that's how you use that one. And uh, so you know how to attach the carbon, I mean CN, you know how to attach the chlorine or bromine. And let's look at what other things you could do. Uh, if you react this one with phenol, you can actually make this special compound. The phenol is highly reactive. It's going to react on the para position, and then it attaches with the two nitros. So these are diazo compounds. So the diazo compounds are colorful and uh, they are most of them are carcinogenic and you know there are other uh, important properties there not necessarily they are all good they could be bad as well right now um, let's see some other reactions so the yellow ones are basically reactions performed by diazonium chloride the green ones are I'm going for synthesis of diazonium right now this is a special reaction hypophosphorus acid hypo h3po2 that one will give you benzene so we never make benzene this way but this is a method we can make benzene right so because making diazonium chloride is very hard and expensive but anyway so you react diazonium chloride with hypophosphorus acid h3po2 and that will give you benzene so so whole bunch of reactions that we can you do with diazonium chloride. Let's look at a little bit. I talked about aniline, so it's another uh, important molecule that that we we use in the organic chemistry laboratory, first year and second year. What's that one? So this is aniline NH2. It's basically ammonia replaced one hydrogen with a benzene, right? So you remember we can react with no. This is a different one. So hot HNO2. That will give you phenol. If you remember, 0 to 5 degree HNO2 will give you diazonium chloride. This one will give you phenol. Now, the other reaction is bromine water. That means aqueous bromine. It's a red solution. React with aniline will give you three bromines attached to the author positions and to the para position. It's a tri-bromophenol. So it's a, it's a crystalline product. It can be 